Greetings, and welcome back to Voxel Tycoon. I'm Catherine of Sky, and here we are watching our furnaces making all the things and all the stuff. Actually, they're only making one thing and one stuff, uh, which is our, um, our iron bars. So anyway, in the last episode, we created glass panes, which are still kind of, yeah, they're just beginning to be delivered to Nakadocha's Annex, where we have this very nice hardware store too. Hopefully we can deliver enough to prevent the business from closing, but we'll have to see how that goes. Now, um, I really would like to get into Colorado Springs uh, because they have the stone that we need. Ooh, manufacturing three is completed. Let's pause the game for a moment and check out uh, what... Okay, so here's manufacturing three and we needed... Okay, uh, wood beams and iron bars. Really? Huh. Do these? Do any of these? <laughs> these are wood planks and these are glass panes. Okay, that's a miracle that that got completed. Um, yeah, nice. Anyway, uh, I think it's time to just, yeah, do some other stuff here. We need some other things like copper wire, uh, where we need copper smelting. We don't have a copper... Uh, area yet but we are going to need stone processing to happen shortly but I'm going to go ahead and turn off that lab for now uh, and also let's see what do we need for these guys we need we don't need steel bars so let's take all of these trucks and move them to the garage here so let's take them move and move you and move you and you Good, good, good. Now, um, I've had a couple of questions about research, uh, not research, uh, passengers, and if I'm going to use them. And the people talking on the Discord have mostly been saying that passengers just increase the growth of your town. And I really don't want to do that. I feel the towns are already too big. So that is not something I really want to do at this moment. Now, this might be interesting. Should I make wood frames? They're 560 plus 5. What are these? These are the glass panes are 905 plus 45. So yeah, that's kind of nice. Let's leave them there and let's just save our money to go to Colorado Springs. I think that's a better idea. Now, what I would like to do is get a set of train tracks going to Colorado Springs. So while we're kind of getting money, let's uh, go ahead and build a line in that general direction. Let's see if I can just level this. There we go. And I think I'll be able to hopefully make money faster than spend it. Now then, um, we want to interact with this section here and have a sort of clover leaf thingy thingy going there. Let's see if we can do this. And what I'm going to do with the truck thing, I think I want to make just a bridge with the trucks instead of making two bridges with the rails. I think that's a better, smarter idea. Um. Oh, yes, and I want to redo this part as well. So what I'm thinking of doing is let's delete some of this truck stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, that's better. Let's just delete all of this. No, go back. Go back home, my friendly little truck. Oh no, oh no. Okay, hold on a second. Let's just delete that. This guy, we're just gonna have to send you to the depot. I'm sorry, car 20. Let's try to remember that car 20 is lost. And um, let's remove that from the bridge for now. Let's see, there it goes. Okay, so let's start it up back up again. And then we can just delete this part of things. And then I want to make a very big bridge here because I have plans for this area. And I think what I want to do here is I want to also terraform this area a tiny bit into something like, I don't know, this maybe. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's get our truck uh, bridge lay roads. Um, all right, let's go with road and go B for bridge. This is going to have to be, actually, let's get our train things first. 
make sure that we can cross. There we go. Get this going. Now B for bridge. Can we do this? We have it paused. Mm -mm. Nope. Night. Night, night, night. That does not work. Okay, let's delete this part. And try it again. Okay, B for bridge. And let's try it at four. Height of four. Please. Hello? Okay, if we move that railroad to the to the right slightly, it will work. Yeah, that's what we need to do is just move it. Move the railroad, I think. So let's just move this bit. Um, actually, what we'll do is we'll make the bridge first and then move the railroad to fit. Oh, no. B. Bridge, bridge, bridge. Okay, here we go. And put that there. And that way we can have stuff going underneath here. Conveyor belts and the like. So I don't know if we can make a squiggle that's that tight. I don't think so. So we'll just do something like this. And then come back to the other... Uh, I think we did five between here. Okay, there we go. Hope that works. Let's see. Bulldoze that. Okay, very nice. It's it's a little bit of a jarring experience, I'm sure, for the train drivers, but it'll be fine. They will definitely adapt and say, hey, this is cool after all. Okay, so let's keep on going. We did use a fair amount of money in this, but that's okay. We're, we're doing okay. Now, the idea here is that we definitely want to have a sort of a cloverleaf junction. Now, the problem we have is we have these very large mountains here. And I think rather than completely decimate them or flatten them, raise them, whatever word your proclivities have you choose, uh, we're going to go around them-ish. So we're going to try to work with nature and not against it too badly. So we're going to get that going. Hopefully, let's see how much money are we making. We're making over a million per month, which I think is pretty great. Research is costing a fair bit. Sumter now accepts sand. I don't know if we want, if we care about this. Do we care? No, we don't. Because Sumter is... Actually, maybe we do care about this. Because I think Sumter is not generating more demand. Because we haven't given it more stuff. As in, if we deliver some wood frames, maybe the city will start to demand higher level products. So that might be something to concern ourselves with. So instead of <laughs> instead of going to Colorado Springs, what we should do, we should actually redo this entire thing. So let's do that, shall we? I think we should. Um, right. What I want to do here is I'm going to delete these things. Do we have money? Yeah, we have enough money. It's good. It's fine. And we're going to delete all of these little things. And we're going to do something similar as we did with the iron and the sand. Is putting a warehouse in a central location uh, to have stuff. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, we need to get these trucks out of here. Go, go, go. No. Stop. Stop coming in. We need to remove a couple of these pieces, I think. So that we can put in a warehouse here. Uh, let's do a small warehouse. Should be fine. Now the question is, how are we going to get stuff out? Let's put it maybe there. Yes, we need that there, definitely. Do we want a bigger one, though? To have a little bit bigger AoE? Maybe. Let's put that there. I want to make sure that we have enough room for a connector. Yeah, we do, I think. There we go. That's what we want. Uh, maybe even two connectors. That seems good so far. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in... I don't think we need any more mines as per se. Uh, maybe we do. This one is kind of... They're, they're all kind of low, and especially if we need more planks... How are we doing here with planks? We have no planks. Zero of 58. Ooh. 
That doesn't sound very good. Not at all. We might even have to move these warehouses as well. Uh, so that they're in a better location. Okay, let's build a couple more mines. Let's see. Wood mine. I always loved calling them wood mines. I know that's very silly, but it's okay. We like to be silly here. It's very handy. Let's go there. Sure. Yep, there we go. Wood mines placed. Oh, this is fun. This is a bit of traffic here. Okay, um, let's see. Wood beams. I think we're going to need to have our... We need to move these warehouses. Or, yeah. To maybe they will fit here. We have some sneaky, sneaky thoughts going on here. I hope that fits, maybe. Ah, it should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, so this is going to be wood planks... And this is wood beams. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and leave it. I'll leave those there for now. Because I want to rebuild this whole area. And I think what I want to do is place down some machines. Uh, let's see what we want to do here. Do we want to put the machine? We could put the machines just right here. That would work. Let's get our conveyors, see how that works. Okay, we can have one right there. That's pretty handy. Let's see how big those wood machines are. Factories. And we want to take our circular saws out here. Ish. Yeah, that seems good. We'll have two for... I guess we need two for each. But maybe we'll leave room for four, for example. Let's see. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then this one will be the next set. Can go there. And then we can have our conveyor belt going there. Okay, so the first ones are going to be these wood planks. And they're going to come out here and then go over here magically. Let's see how we can do this. We could do something like from here. And the reason for that will become apparent very shortly. Um, I'm going to actually build land here. Yeah, I think I'm going to build land here. All right, let's do some conveyor endings. So here we'll connect here and we'll connect the other one there. Uh, all right, so let's build land. Where is our landy land part? There it is, terraforming. Raise. So raise this one to here. We'll just go across like this. And then this one can go across like that. Yes. And that should be what we want. So let's try to do this. We need, I think, a clearance of three to go above these trucks. So let's go B, bridge three. Maybe. No. Oh no. Huh. We have enough money, but we can't build this here. Oh no. That's not ideal. Hmm. I wonder how we're gonna do this. This is a bit a bit scary. Does this have enough space? Let's see. So B. No. Oh, no, 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 I unpaused accidentally. No. Oh, no. Let's go one here and then sure. B. Three. No. Uh, that is not working either. Darn it. Yes. I want to remove this. I wonder... If I can do it on the other side here. Let me try this. See if this will work. If I go here. B to three up. Nope. That is not working either. Maybe it needs to be four. Let's try four. This seems kind of iffy. I wonder if, if this is not going to work very well. Or, oh, there's... 
I wanted aerial conveyors, you know, but we can always do without them. I just thought about something that I should have thought about uh, a little bit ago. Yes. Don't make fun of me. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's go down here. All right, and this one will be down here. Okay, we're going to go underground instead. It's a little bit easier. Not as much fun, agreed, but a little bit easier. So we're going to go this way. Nice. Okay, and T. And here comes this tunnel. Okay, very nice. Okay, so that is going to get our stuff to our warehouses where we need to store them. And that's pretty, pretty exciting, I think. Let's go make sure everything's going the correct direction. Actually, we probably can just set things going and then see where they go. Ah, yes, we also need to be connecting this here. That. Okay, and let's, let's see. The first one we said was planks. So let's have two plank makers. And later, we're going to need to have maybe more of these machines. And they're going to be really easy to connect together, even if we have to move some. Um, but as long as we keep kind of the general uh, flow of things. Let's see. Ah, yes, you need to store wood. There we go. All right. Nice. Okay, so these are getting made into planks. Very good. Very good. All right. And we have some issues here. Okay, everything is producing. That's great. Wow, there are so many trucks needing planks here. Whoa. Ah, but now they are filling up, so that's great. The wood trucks are also filling up. And yeah, this bridge is looking really nice as well. I think I'm going to wait on making that uh, clover leaf until we can get some money going on here. But yeah, this is pretty great. I'm wondering if we should make those doors, the barn doors. We do need to get some of these um, iron uh, metal parts. Metal parts is what they're called. This is, that would be a really weird, very, very short trip by a train. <laughs> Jeez. We have very, but I guess it could be a round trip carrying um, the parts one way and then the barn doors the other way. I, I don't know. What is this called? This is not a barn door. It's called a wood frame, technically. So what we can do, though, is actually make some of those wood frames. Um, How do we want to do that? I'm thinking we can just put a factory magically somewhere. I think that if we connect this, let's see. I wonder, I guess it's, it would be within the warehouse for the panels and not within the where the, the range of here so or we can connect it directly to this line and just split it that that's another option i think we might even just do that just split it off and then have that going like maybe even backward or something uh to this area here Let's see. How do we want to do that? Let's just... I am trying to run the game so we get more money. We need more money to buy the thing. Let's see. Let's see. If we make these things... They kind of look like this. They're, they have three entrances on one side. So it's not, uh, not ideal. Not ideal, but it's okay. What we can do is just even put it over here. Oh, it could be a lakeside manufactory. Oh, wouldn't that be pretty? That would be nice. We'll just have it here, shall we? Let's make... Um, I guess we'll pause. So let's make two of these, perhaps. Sure, to make panels. I don't know how many we're going to need, but we need more than one. That's certain. And um, we have three items coming in. So that's going to be interesting. We could take one belt to the back. And I think that might actually be a good idea to do that. Like this kind of thing. 
just have one going backward and have this like, no, excuse me. I right clicked on you, you silly thing. Let's remove that connection. Oh, actually we could do that. We could actually do this. Uh, we can have one, those coming out that way and then do the other thing that way. Otherwise we need to have like three heights of stuff coming in. All right, so if we have uh, one other thing coming in, which would be the, uh, we need to have iron par or metal parts and then also the planks coming in. So planks probably gonna come in from this side here. What we can do is just do a small thing here Take the planks and go this way and then have this one be a bridge. Go to zero. There we go. Like that. Nice. Ah, someone had a supposition that the last before the height needed to be a stanchion or a support, but it doesn't apparently. I think this game is just wonky personally. I think that trying to figure it out might be a futile cause. I don't know. <laughs> it seems very, very weird. Um, okay, anyway, let's do a little bit of trenching here. Um, mm -hmm. Let's do that one here. We always want to have one space before all of the stuff so we can raise the height of the conveyors or lower them as our proclivities dictate. Whoops, that was not what I wanted. There we go. That's better. And we'll have, let's see, we'll do a bridgy bridgy. Let's have one here. And then here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then this one will go down. Yeah. I'm not sure. I guess this will be the one for our planks coming in because it aligns quite beautifully right there. Then this one will go there and curve around there. Now the other things, the iron parts are going to come in here. So we'll go T to go through that and then straight and then T and then straight and then they split off like this. Hooray. Beautiful. Oh, this is lovely. That's nice. Okay, so we're making wood frames. Despite all of my efforts to finally get furniture, nobody wants furniture. They only want wood frames. So what I'm thinking is here in this, in the train station area is where we're going to have our uh, warehouses. So if we, how wide are these platforms? So an extra one would be, let's get our little terraformy thingy and look. So we have one, two, per thingy thingy. So if we do one, two, one, two, that will leave us an extra bit of room here. And then we can put the warehouses on this side here somewhere. Uh, we don't need a lot of space and it's good that it can be sunken space. That works. Okay, industry. Let's get our warehouses. See, they do hit the this thing here. They also hit the labs. That's not too bad. Okay, we're going to get, let's just put them sideways like this. We'll put two. Okay, and then one of them, wait, do we want to have lots of parts or not so lots of parts? Actually, we want big ones. We do. I think we want big thingies, big warehouses. Yep, let's delete those and try it again. Warehouses, large ones. And I don't want the giganto ones. Just the large ones is fine. Put them this way. Okay. Good. Yes. All right. Do a tiny bit more terraforming. There we go. And then we'll do that to there. Okay. Excellent. And now we'll get our conveyor belts going. First, we want to get our connectors, of course. All right. And so this one is going to be metal parts. And then this one is going to be the finished wood frames. All right, now we need to figure out how we can get these to where they need to be. Let's see, the output is gonna be here. This is where I want our output to be. Um, yeah, okay, so this is what level? This is 
the this level. So we said these are going to be the further one. So we just need to dig down one square to make that turn. So let's go ahead and do that. Do, 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 do. So this one. Okay, one over to the left. There. Okay. So let's see if this works. This should be fine though. Okay, we'll just do it at a zero thingy. Okay, good, good. Uh, but we're gonna start it from this side, I think. T. And go there. Hooray! Connections are made. This is great. Okay. So now this one is gonna be two down. So I think what I'm gonna do here is take this one down before uh, we go to this area here. So we'll get our thing down there, for example. We'll take this over here. Try to align it here. So one and two. So let's see if that works out. Hopefully it will. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and trench the rest of this up to the hill just in case we want to add more of these machines. Okay. There we go. Maybe, maybe, zero please. Good, oh, that's perfect. So now we just have these little keyholes where we have little curves in things. Okay, this is actually kind of great. So let's let's let the autosave happen. All right, and let's watch this work. We now have planks going along this line. That's very nice. And let's make sure that we get uh, all of our conveyors or some of the conveyors at least into place. All right, so we have stuff going in there, but it's kind of the wrong way here. Uh, we I mean, we need the iron parts first. So let's get those made. This is going to be interesting. I think we'll have a short train taking iron parts to there and taking the wood uh, barn doors. I don't know why I call them barn doors, but they look like barn doors. Uh, barn doors back. Now this train is not doing much. I think we're just gonna have to decommission those cars because we really don't need them at all. Uh, all right, so we need, I don't think those are gonna, they're not, definitely not gonna hold the wood, the iron parts. So we need to find appropriate cars for that task. Let's see, is it this, it's not the steak car. I think it's the box car. Yeah, they are, yes. So we're gonna go ahead and buy, uh, what, do they take the, uh, the frames? They do. <gasps> Wow, that's nice, actually. Now, question. The question is, do we do we have one part per per frame? Do can we do a full unload and a full unload? Let's look. They need two planks to one of these and that makes one barn door so if nothing gets lost then we can do a full unload and then a full load however i think we're not necessarily going to do that we'll just do a full unload um so that it can load some i'm not sure i'm not sure what to do here what we could do is send one load of stuff to start out with I think that's the better idea. Let's do that. Let's do click a few of these. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. That would be 40. Let's do six, seven, seven. Okay. And we'll do magic. <laughs> We're gonna try magic this time. And we need to, we need to set this schedule very carefully, I think. I wanna see if we can do this. Let's see. Edit the schedule, uh, completely unlink it now. We want you to go to Nacogdoches, or Eleanor Transfer, I should say. And I want you to load 
all units with, oh, this is great. Look what we can do. Uh, can I change this? Hello? No? Huh. I want to load. Can I not just change, change this? Hello? Oh my gosh. This is, this is, this is the first time I see like a real issue here. Is there a way to solve this? If you know a way to solve this, let me know. As in, use the same cars for the same materials. Uh, let's see. What I want to do is I want to load. I want to load iron parts. And then later I want to load wood frames. Let's see, I'm clicking this. Let's see, load. Do we have another order? Refit. Actually, we could do a, oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Look at that, okay. Okay, so what we wanna do is, oh, this game. You know what, they thought about it. Isn't this great? Okay, so what we want to do first is add order, unload. We're going to unload all units full. Then we're going to refit for this, all units, and then load to full. And then we're going to go to here. And then we're going to unload all units. Then we're going, <laughs> I love you game. I love you game. You know what? The devs thought about this. They knew we would want to do this. They knew it. And they're like, we're going to give it to them. We want to make their lives convenient so that they will love the game even more. And you know what? I love the game even more. This is great. Ah, oh, so nice. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is this. We're going to send one train and then we're going, we're going to send basically one set of stuff. And then later we're going to have it load. So let's have it do a thing first. So save as glass panes. Yes. And I want to watch this happen. This is cool. All right, let's watch this. I want to watch this go. Follow vehicle. Let's go at two speed. Two speed. One speed seems very slow. Okay, here we go. Train is going not going okay so this looks like this may need to be these may need to be that was weird because they were i wonder why they were ah that's why okay these need to be regular signals not not um thingies it seems like they do work like factorio signals but i i've had that anomaly happen more than once so it's like i'm kind of wary of it now but it's okay, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Okay, so what's happening is unloading is happening, then refitting. Now they are loading with parts. Cool, cool. It's working, 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 working. Okay, this train is going. I'm gonna wait for it to go. And hopefully our train can go. No, that train is going apparently. Dude, you cut in line. That's not fair. Excuse me. There we go, there's our little train. We'll just follow it with the camera, the magic camera. You know what I thought was really great? I What I loved about Transport Tycoon was that you could have in the window watching the train go. I loved that. I absolutely loved that. So I'd have like several of them, like tracking their progress and doing the things and the stuffs. Okay, so now it is unloading into this thing, but this thing, the conveyor belt is backward. So let's see, is it gone? Is it done? I want to wait for it to unload. There it goes unloading. So now we're going to do the refitting for wood frames. Um, and we're going to add to load full. Uh, all units, wood frames. Yes. This is so good. I, I love you game. <laughs> it's so good. All right, let's fix these conveyor belts now. So now because it's daytime and we can actually see things, it's kind of good. Also, uh, 
I was thinking there is an option to turn daylight on always. Let me know if you would like to see that. Uh, I'm not seeing that nighttime really adds much uh, other than, I guess, passage of days, but still that's a bit on the iffy side. Oh wait, that one needs to go the other way. Silly me. All right, so let's see where these wood thingies are. Another thing, can we see? Okay, so no wood frames are on the thing. Where is it? Hello? Oh, it's okay. It's pulling into that station. But yeah, I'd love to see those uh, little thingies. It's so nice. Oh, whoops. went too far. Okay, let's let's watch. Let's watch. Come on. Come on, stuff. Let's watch you. Oh, no, we can't watch you because the conveyor is backward. There we go. Okay. There we go. I should have clicked it a couple more times because I think if you just, you know, back, forth, back, forth, it will kind of do all of them in the same line unless you have a split. Okay, here it comes. There we go. We're getting parts. We're getting things. We're making things. Stuff is happening. Not very fast, though, because... This thing doesn't want to work. Why? Look, look here, thing. Ah, oh, sigh. Okay, let's see if we can fix this thing. Refund that. Can I have a, can I delete that? Let's see if we can just do this this way. Okay, like this, and then Take that that way. Yes. Maybe. Hey, I think it's working. Good, good. Now then, this also has an issue. That is the wrong way. It's so nice to have the products actually on the lines. It's so much easier to see stuff. Okay, train 12 has not earned money. That's unfortunate. Okay, this train is back here. That's train number seven. So oh, we went too far and panels are coming. More gears are arriving. So we might need a bigger buffer than this. There's also a few that ended up over there, but I think that should be fine. Hopefully with the, uh, oh, okay. We'll figure it. We'll figure out those things in a second. Hopefully with stuff going on, we'll, we'll get it to work. Um, did I? Wait, did we finish this? No. Oh dear. Okay, just go to the next station, please. So this is why this hasn't been working, is because we haven't had enough planks come in here. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so panels are slowly showing up and they are slowly, slowly filling our train. Very slowly. Because we have two makers only. But that's okay. It's gonna be it's gonna be fine. We're running out of gears here. But that means that some of them. Let's see. These guys are almost full. I don't think we're actually gonna get another full load though. I feel like we're gonna get less than that. Let's see, how many again did we have here? So eight times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that would be 56. So we need 56 to show up in this warehouse before they're all done. And I don't think that's going to happen because we had too many on the on the thing. What I'm going to do is just going to do a uh, not full load. Here, let's edit this and do not full. Say OK. Let's just do it that way and it'll load what it has and then it'll it'll be fine. We could do exacting things, but we don't actually need to. So let's see, these are glass thingies and we may need to have just less glass trucks coming here. But in the meantime, we are gonna get some of these wood things here at the train station, which we don't actually have uh, any infrastructure for. So what I wanna do is, let's see, we have this place. It doesn't actually hit this place. Okay, so we actually do need another truck station. Uh, where do we want to put this thing? Let's find out. Let's put this away. Go away, thingy, thingy. 91,000. Uh, that's expensive. Can we put it here? No. There. No, not quite. 
I think I'm gonna have to like really just delete something expensive here. Let's put it here. That will cover this in this other area. Uh, all right, so let us choose. Let's make ourselves another station here. Uh, we need, okay, let's get our station first. I think that'll work. I was just like looking, hmm, is it gonna fit with the warehouse and all this stuff? Okay, very good. Actually, does that? Ah, it's fine going by train. It's, should I? <laughs> I'm like, huh, should I just belt that stuff over there? I could, I actually could. Um, jeez. You know what? I'm going to leave it because we are going to need things. Ah, it's fine. It's, it's belting is free though. <laughs> I'm just like, belting is free though. Hmm. Uh, we could have a warehouse here-ish that holds these, but that's a long conveyor belt going all the way this way. Ah, it's fine. Take the train. It's fine. It'll get to take the train. It'll be happy little wooden barn doors, like, you know, singing of their glorious journey to their friends and all that. That's the thing. That was not what I wanted to make. I did not want a garage. I wanted a warehouse. They look quite similar, actually, don't they? Okay, let's get a, a warehouse. There we go. All right. And this one's going to hold the wooden panel or wood frames, wood frames. Okay, and that's fine. So now we can get those things filling up in there. And we're going to get, I think we only need maybe like one truck or something to carry these things. So let me see if these guys can hold them. No, they cannot. So we need to buy another, a different kind of truck. Go away thing. Shoot. Thank you, autosave. All right. Now then. We need to get the panels. Is it here? Yeah, wood frames. So an L10 type truck. We're going to get this one to go. And it's only going to carry wood panels. Uh, all right. So let's send it to here. And then full load. And then we're going to have it go to here land. There we go. Yep. And then unload full. Okay. And then we're going to save this truck route and say copy and then let them both go. Okay. Go. Good. Good. That way we'll get a little bit of stuff going on there. Oh, Eleanor iron ore is being tapped. It's going a bit slowly here. I feel like uh, furniture store has gotten its first supply of wood frames. Yay. This is good. Wow, they're selling doors at this store here. Nice. Looks like the hardware store could use more planks, though. I feel like that uh, could be good. I wonder if we're getting planks delivered or are they all... I guess they're all going by truck, aren't they? So maybe that's something that we can fix or change is add planks on the end of that train while it's going and then remove the plank trucks and just have a shorter plank thing going on. Let's do that. Actually, we can, can, we can do something. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's get rid of these little, uh, houses. Get rid of um, this one. Yes. And we'll put our warehouse here. That does connect, which is important. To put this this way. Okay, and then we need our station. Now, ideally, it should be actually built on this side. So I should move this to like there. Uh, or there is fine too. 
There's fine too. Wait, does this fit there? That doesn't look like it quite fits there. Hold on. Let's see, does this fit? Maybe. Occupied by vehicle. Okay, vehicle, move. Thank you. Ah, it does fit. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's get that back. So this one should be this side because it has a longer parking thing. Um, it's obviously not ideal, but it is longer than the other thing. Okay, so we're going to call this Eleonora Planks. Okay. Okay, and here we go with this. That's going to store planks. And I think what I'm going to do is have this train, the one that picks up stuff. Where is it? This boxcar train. Uh, go to... I'm going to have it unload. We're just going to watch the thing happen. There it goes. Gosh, it has to go quite a long way around, doesn't it? Now. <laughs> oh, dear. But I want it to unload the wood frames because those are fairly valuable. And then I will send it to the depot. Hello. There we go. Okay. Details. Okay. Two, one, zero. Okay. Now I want to send you to the depot, please. I really should make conveyor belts, shouldn't I? I should not be lazy with this. I should just make a conveyor belt, sh sending all of this stuff all over the place. Yes, I probably should. So, all right, let's, um, Let's change the configuration here. We have a 106 meter train. What I want to do is add some stake cars. Yes. And these are going to be planks. So let's copy that a couple of times. Let's see, that is 153, 176, nope, nope. I think that actually might be enough. No, let's do 200. Let's just do 200. And it's going to pick up whatever it picks up. Okay. So let's apply the changes here and look at our schedule here. So we have refit and then load and it's going to load all units, which all units mean all units. And then here we're going to do not these units because we don't want to load them here at all. Okay. Load 7 of 15 units. Perfect. Uh, with iron parts at the time. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I think it knows what to do. Did I... Did it work? Oh, yes. Okay, it saved despite me not clicking save. So, all right. It's going to do its thing and send stuff on. Um, now, we need to change those trucks change actually all the trucks mm -hmm. we get to remove most of these darn trucks so let's go ahead and start the thing and i think what we're gonna do is probably just i don't know get half of them off let's see so sumter west let's keep maybe five of each or something like that so let's see one two three four five let's take this one and put it in the depot or the garage all right and we're going to edit and then just what do we want to do rename we want to change this i guess we just change like just delete it basically okay so that's fine so that's five now. So let's let's have five going to each place because the trip has now become much, much shorter. So we want to edit this and unlink. Can I just do a uh, none route? Hey, that's cool. So now we don't have to keep switching around stuff. <laughs> you guys are all on the none route. Woo. All right, go here, go to the garage. Yay. Good. All right, delete. And let's go and get this again. 
So, planks. Now then, these guys are going to go, instead of Sumter Wood planks, you're going to go to, we're going to have to change the entire thing because we're no longer going to use this waypoint anymore either. Okay, go to Eleonora planks. Okay. That's done, right? Do the same here. Let's delete these waypoints and then go to Eleonora planks. Hooray. God, they make this so easy. I love playing this game. There is no fiddly junk to worry about. It is just easy peasy all the time. It's great. It's so good. Like, it's so convenient. This, the UI and everything. It's just great. Just really great. Loving, loving this game. Really loving this game. Okay, so how, what's going on here? We're getting planks. We're getting stuff. Oh, this is great. Nice. All right. We are a long train running. Hello. Nice. Oh, that's great. When we have money, next next episode, I think we're going to be able to buy stuff. This is kind of cool. Hooray. The hooray is real. Oh, that's nice. It's very nice. That's such a squirrely entrance, but it works, you know. Okay, so here we are. We are now getting our first planks. Oh my gosh, the planks uh, trucks are waiting, aren't they? Yeah, I think we're going to have to add to this a tiny bit for the waiting queue. So let's add to that a tiny bit for the waiting queue. Unfortunately, we cannot move that warehouse uh, because it has to be close enough to be in range of the train station. But uh, we can make a bigger queue. So that's great. And now if we want to, if we want to increase... The delivery here it's much uh it's a much shorter route than we had before so that's kind of cool it's kind of like really cool okay so now they're building up again it looks like we might need more more trainage here let's see train is not back yet and not even close this may need some editing i think hmm. What we could do is we could have one line from that side and one from underneath the side. Maybe. Instead of having that long way around. Or we could just build a belt con or a conveyor belt for the planks. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like, oh, I don't want to go through the, to the trouble, but then maybe it would work. I don't know. Anyway, we are going to have a lot of money for the next episode where we're going to try and unlock Colorado Springs. Please let me know in the comments. What do you, what do you think about nighttime? Do you care about it? Or should we just have daytime so that we can just see things better? <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you think. I'm really curious to see, you know, does nighttime add ambiance or do you not care? Uh, anyway, thank you again. I hope you're having, I hope this has brought a little bit of sunshine to your day. Maybe it'll hopefully make it a tiny bit better. Um, in any case, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.